Well, with me now, one of the heroes of tonight, Ryan McLean, got the match winner. How does it feel, Ryan? Can't explain it. Um, obviously, that was my pro debut, and I don't think I could have asked for it to go any better with a goal, a winning goal, and then the win, and go through to the next round. Omar, of course, we're through now to the second round of the Carabao Cup. How good does that feel? Oh, that's great. I mean, the way we we changed the game, the substitutions we've made, they look very comfortable winning the game, the way they kept it. Um, yeah, very happy to make an impact with the first sort of change in the atmosphere in the stadium and then we pushed on to produce a great goal for Ryan coming on with a great finish at back post, so I'm um, very happy with the win. And then of course Omar getting the goal gets getting us back on yeah. level terms as well, I mean what a dramatic finish for us. Yeah, I know, it was, it was mad, I, was, I think I was only on 10 minutes or so, but yeah, some a great feeling. Take us through your one, it was a special one. Oh yeah, uh, I think we sort of start off like coming on, like winning the first tackle. Got the crowd going a little bit and ball went out wide to so Ryan, um, driving, crossing it in the right area and then the gaffer always tells me and, and tell, um, just get yourself in the box, you get your reward and that's what happened. The ball literally landed right in front of me and I've got to take them chances to win to win the game or even make an impact and that's what happened to a 1-1 and then going on to win the game. What did you think? I mean, because sort of the closing stages of the game, Coventry were just sort of playing the ball around, keeping possession and we just needed something to to get us going into it, didn't we? Yeah, I know, well, I think, do we make all five subs? I think so. So yeah, it's going to make a difference, fresh legs coming on, but then they did the same, so I think we just wanted it more and got there in the end. Coventry seemed comfortable at 1-0, didn't they? They were sort of keeping possession, but always a danger doing that. Yeah, I mean, they, they were very good. I mean, the way they created them chances, and you've got to give credit to Tans as well, keeping us in the game. I mean, the first half, I think they had like, three or four clear chances, and he produced some mistakes where he needed to step up to keep us in the game and yeah, luckily he didn't score any more. Yeah, some, some top class saves as you say from Tans and of course Alex Bass has come in so there's that competition b between them but he, he responded tonight. Yeah, 100% it's a healthy competition, same with the forwards, I mean we want players to compete for the positions because we're going to need everyone coming on um, down the line in the season and that's what happened today. I mean, question for the gaffer, who can I trust, who can I play and he knows definitely he can rely on everyone there. I think we've also got to say credit to Nick Zanev. I mean, I know he got yeah. the sponsors man of the match, which might need a little bit of a rethink, but he pulled off some great saves tonight to keep yeah. us in it. No, he definitely, I think he deserved it. The one at the end especially was that last minute, keep us in the game and then we go through. Yeah, I think he did really well tonight. What have the last few weeks been like for you? Because I mean, what, a couple of months ago you were doing what, an office job? Yeah, <laughs> I can't really explain to be honest. It's, it's a mad feeling. Um, yeah, it's been up and down since I've come here. I've, had to take a while to adapt but I've come on and took my chance today and that's all I can do really when I get the opportunity. Just got to do as much as I can and take it. I got told to work hard this week. I wasn't in the squad Saturday which is a bit of a kick in the teeth but that's football I suppose and then three days later, four days later it's a completely different story. You're learning that sort of togetherness feeling about the squad now? Yeah definitely. I think um, Benador or Northern Alicante as they were calling it helped with that definitely uh, to get everyone together but yeah I think we did really well tonight. Usually you have like separate groups and, and teams but this one's like we, we're all together everyone gets that one with each other it doesn't matter what age group we are, we are yeah we're a proper team and it's going to be a long season we need everyone going forward. And can you sense that sort of camaraderie amongst the forward line as well Josh and Ali and yourself as well? Yeah you can add Sass to a Paris to four, um, all the wingers like we're there to, to test each other push each other in every session after training penalties, uh, all the finishing sessions, we're all doing it together. So once again, it's a healthy competition. We want everyone to, to, to do well. And once again, like if someone scores the winner, we're all going to be celebrating. We're not going to be like, gutted that you didn't do it. It's just more like we as a team being successful. What about settling in down here as well? Has it, has it been going okay? Yeah, it's. I'm quite enjoying it to be fair. It's not what I thought it was going to be like. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed Really enjoyed the area, going into London and stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's nice. And you're explaining on the way down to the interview as well. You wanted the family to be here tonight. Unfortunately, they couldn't be. But you were straight on the phone after the game. Yeah, yeah. They um they know they literally come to all my games, but with work and stuff, they haven't been able to. So that was a bit gutting. But um yeah, they're buzzing for me. What can this do for us now? I mean, it's it's the second game of the new season, but it's going to propel the squad yeah. further forward, isn't it? Well, we haven't we haven't lost yet, have we? That's so. true. We're unbeaten for, what is it, seven or eight games now, which, you know, if you take that into the season, it's going to help, isn't it?